Hezbollah says it fired more than 100 rockets at Israeli positions on Wednesday. The Lebanese militant group says the assault was retaliation for an Israeli drone strike that killed one of its senior commanders in southern Lebanon. There were no reports of casualties. Now, these pictures posted on social media are said to show the aftermath of the attack. There's been cross-border fighting between Israel and the militants since the start of the war in Gaza. This is the second time in recent weeks that an Israeli airstrike has killed a Hezbollah commander. Well, DW's Beirut bureau chief, Mohamed Shreita, talked me through the significance of the strike. Well, the situation is escalating again on the uh, Lebanese-Israeli front as Hezbollah launched uh, retaliatory attacks on uh, Israel following the killing of its senior military figure, Mohammed uh, Nasser, also known as Abu Nami. Uh, this, is, uh, uh, this was quite uh, expected, this um, uh, retaliation and this intensity, given the significance and importance and the high rank of the killed uh, military uh, commander. Nasser is the third uh, um, military uh, figure, senior military uh, figure killed by Israel since the uh, beginning of this confrontation. First, Wissam al-Tawil uh, back in January, and then Talib uh, Abdullah in mid-June, and now uh, Mohammed uh, Nasser. And every assassination was followed by a, a big and violent uh, escalation that lasted for weeks and seemed to reach the point of an all-out uh, war between the uh, adversaries. This has been prompting diplomatic uh, efforts, particularly from uh, the U.S., France, and, and Germany, who have been so far successful in uh, pressuring all uh, parties to avoid the large-scale uh, war. So now we're anticipating uh, the large and uh, uh, in the, the, the intensity and the um, uh, scale of this round of escalation between Hezbollah and Israel. Right, good talk. Could you thank you for that, uh, Mohammed Shreita uh, in Beirut. Recent weeks have seen daily exchanges of fire between Israel and Hezbollah, and the number of missiles fired by Hezbollah is unprecedented. The missiles spark wildfires that have consumed hundreds of hectares of northern Israel, causing tens of thousands of people to flee. DW correspondent Tanya Kramer has been meeting the firefighters protecting people who have chosen to stay. Israel's aerial defense system shoots down rockets from southern Lebanon. On the ground in northern Israel, firefighters are busy extinguishing fires caused by cross-border strikes between Israel and Lebanese militant group Hezbollah. <laughs> Gadi Azoulay is managing a bigger team than usually. The addition of missiles to the wildfire season means he needs all the help he can get. In the last month, there has been much heavier and more accurate shooting. And as a result of these rockets and interceptions, many fires got started. And because of the dryness and strong winds, you'll see a large burnt area here. This is the aftermath of a fire sparked when Israel's aerial defense system shut down incoming missiles. The last few days have been quieter than usual, says Azulay, but his team is preparing for all scenarios, including a full-scale war. We know it will be much more severe, and this is why we're getting ready, receiving forces and equipment, freshening up. And we are now at a stage when we're waiting for the next wave, but I hope it doesn't come. A few kilometers away, another fire has spread in recent weeks to the outskirts of Kibbutz Shamir. We heard a few artillery rounds shot across the border area here and the bus of drones overhead. This border area feels relatively calm today, but people here have been living under threat for more than eight months now. And they fear it can get much worse if Israel and Hezbollah will enter a full-scale war. Gilad, Yehuda and his family are worried about the fires as well as the potential war. The places, he says, feel like an additional weapon used against them. Here in, in the Upper Galilee and all around the border of Lebanon, there is an actual war, okay? There, uh, there is a real war, 
uh, missiles, drones, fires, alarms all the times. A lot of noises also from the Israeli side, um, uh, airplanes in the sky all the time. And it, it can change from three alarms a day to three days without an, any alarm. Basically, we know that Hezbollah have the ability to hurt us, to injure us in any given moment. And we are just, you know, <laughs> hoping that we will, that, you know, that IDF will be able to defend us. Their home here is just outside the official evacuation zone, which stretches five kilometers into Israel from the border. That means they, unlike tens of thousands of others, have not been told to leave. But fearing war and fire, he and his family have left twice since October 7 last year. Each time they came back, but their suitcases are packed.